Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with September favourites. Now I know this video is coming up almost mid-October at this point and it's been a bit of a crazy few weeks. So first of all I just want to apologise for that that we are going to be on one video a week for October um, and then we will amp back up to two videos again but I have had so many nail breaks it's incredible. I, as soon as I get into a swatchable state, another nail breaks. It's relentless and it's so frustrating. So I have the OPI Scotland video that I am, um, let's have a look, probably just over halfway through swatching. So that review video will be coming up for you soon, um, as well as obviously other videos. But yes, it's going to be a one video a month, one video a week for October. Um, also, I just want to say thank you so much to the overwhelming response to my OPI video that I put up about the most popular OPI shades and I know a lot of you were asking if I could do it with some of the other ones and I have found a similar list from Essie so you will be seeing um, popular Essie shades and that will be one of October's videos but thank you so much for all the comments and everything on that it was um, amazing and blew me away but you're here for September favorites so this is everything that I wore in the month of September plus my nail polish empties Let's go. So as mentioned, because of those nail breaks, there isn't going to be a ton in this video. And we'll start with mainstream. So the only mainstream that I have is Essie Stripes and Sales. Now I picked this up off of Fragrance Direct, nice and cheaply. It is a beautiful um, turquoise, medium turquoise cream colour, beautiful formula, completely opaque in two coats. However, this probably will stain your nails because me, it stained me a little bit and my nails never stain. They're very hard to stain. And when I removed it, I thought to myself, they look a tiny little bit turquoise um, toned there. So I would just put a preventative base coat down if I wore it in the future. And again, if anyone out there suffers, definitely wear a base coat. That's going to be my advice. But two coats of Stripes and Sales Essie are lone mainstream polish. On to Indies. The first one that we have is from Colours by Leroux. And this one is called Times Square. And it was a Polish Con New York exclusive. And it is a beautiful um deep or so burgundy for some reason a beautiful deep purple um holographic very very strong hollow and there is a slight duochromeness to it it does kind of go around into like an orangey bronze spectrum um but a really nice formula um easily two coats that was times square by color by Leroux. and all indies will be linked down below a British brand, we have Maiden of Stone by Arda's Nails, and this was their first ever Crelly, and it came out as the charity polish for May this year. Now, with their charity polishes, they are not like not exclusive to the month. There's just one released a month, so you can still buy May's polish. Um, even though it's not made anymore. So still check this one out. And it is a white base with a ton of duochrome flakies in there. And they are mainly those warm flakies. They go mainly for me between that red and yellow. But there's a tiny little tinge of green in there as well. Um, but something very different. And like I say, I'm very happy to be seeing um, Crellies by Arda's Nails. So that was a three-coater, Maiden of Stone by Arda's Nails. And like I say, a portion of that will go towards um, charity as well, which is amazing. One by Palish, and this is Borealis. And this is a purple base with a blue flash to it. Now, I did like this. I just wish the flash was a tiny bit brighter. Um, it was a sort of a violet base and then you like I say you get the blue in it um did really like it wouldn't destash it or anything but just for me just to take it from a nine to a ten I would have just liked the blue flash to be a little bit uh, stronger but that was two coats of Borealis by Palish we then have Lynn B Designs and this one is Aguamente and this is from uh, their Harry Potter spells collection this is gorgeous it is this obviously beautiful periwinkle blue maybe a couple of drops of purple in there as well and then there is a ton of multi-chrome flakies in there um, and the flakies in the blue base is just something i've not i don't have anything like this although the mixture is quite um i guess simple just flakies in a base um i just not haven't got this color combination anywhere um so yes very Excited to have this and I really enjoyed it. And it's two coats, Agamenti, Lynn B Designs. We then have one from uh, Dollish Polish and this, oh, I, I lost the label there. This is in their new um, labeling and it's called Hand Shot First and it's from their Star Wars collection. This is beautiful. I've had a few recently and a couple more in this video that you're gonna see that are gonna be in my favorites of this year. Just letting you know that now, this will definitely be in there. It is this inky blue with a brighter blue flash. It 
applied beautifully it was a three coater it was just the shiniest most oh it just was so gorgeous i could not stop staring at my nails um that beautiful flash came through beautifully it looked like a kind of like oil slicky um i just loved it so much so uh beautiful hand shot first uh three coats dollish polish and the last three are all from rogue lacquer the first uh two are hella handmade creations and this one is pick it and this is from may uh, and this is a beautiful grass green with a little bit of a orangey flash to it plus there is a um, little glitters and flakies in there as well. This sort of limey green isn't my normal favourite, but I did actually really like it on the nail. I think it was where it has this flash in it. It doesn't normally look green. Whenever you're moving your hands, there is the green, but then the like kind of orangey flash just makes it look so different and like kind of chameleon-like-ish. Um, it was a three-coater, but that one there is Pick It by Rogue Lecker. Another one that is 100% going to be in my the next two actually probably yeah the next two are going to be in my favourite of the year as well um, this is rogue like a demi guys and this is just breathtaking it is this light blue base and then you have a strong flash to it and then an enormous silver flake is in there and the combination of the like multi-chrome flash to it and the blue base and the silver flakes all of that together just took my breath away it's absolutely beautiful um there are no words Three Coats, Demi Guys, Rogue Lacquer. And the last one is going to be Vice, and this was May's uh, Polish Pickup from Rogue Lacquer, and it was um, the 80s, and this is Miami Vice inspired, and it is a beautiful uh, base, look at that, I'm just distracted, a beautiful blue base with those duochrome flakes. They are mainly um, orange, yellow, and red in colour, um, and Blue and red together is just a great combination. I've said this so many times, uh, and this is just absolutely stunning. Two coats of Vice by Rogue Lecker. So that is the box empty of um, the polishes I wore, and then I have four empties, which is quite a lot for me. So the first one that we have is a top coat, and this is by a, a British brand that doesn't exist anymore. Pretty Perfect Polish, and this was their top it, to top it off top coat um, it was just a fast drying um, glossy top coat and that is the only rules that I apply I'm not brand loyal with top coats really um, as long as they dry fast you are the one for me this dry fast but like I say fortunately the brand doesn't exist anymore um, but it was good I have one hand cream and this is the good vibes only shea butter hand cream by Bath and Body Works now when I picked it up to be honest I picked this up for the packaging because look at the colours this is just very aesthetically pleasing however this is a coconut smell and coconut's like not my favourite scent it's not the worst but I would pick other scents over coconut so I wouldn't repurchase a coconut flavoured Bath and Body Works one but I would repurchase their hand cream in general because it was really nice we have the holy grail of nail polish removers this is the um 32 fluid ounces zoya remove plus if you've never tried remove plus by zoya you should really try it it's honestly the greatest remover ever um, it removes your nail polish really quickly but it keeps you very hydrated as well um so it's kind of like acetone but like with so many nice properties to it, it's the plus element that I really like. Um, it says on the end, mild acetone formula which moisturises, nourishes and helps to fortify your nail plate while removing existing nail lacquer. Um, this big bottle took me about 10 months to go through and considering how often I paint my nails, um, that's pretty good going for this to last me almost a year. So although it is pricey, it does last a long time and I use that to fill up which this is empty as well to fill up the pump or oh, it's like a tiny bit left in there and um, i use that to refill it up the smaller pump system from zoya so love and will repurchase and from one other love to another this is the stella chroma um, emulsifying sugar hand scrub um, i love this i spoke about this recently in my nail care video i will link that video down below for you but this is just a great hand scrub it is like i said a sugar one so you're going to get sugar particles in there and then there's also um, oils and butters so it says scoop out some of our moisturizing scrub add water and massage into your skin um, and that's exactly what you do this 
is completely gone and this is in the scent Butterbeer. I got this in Polish Pickup and this lasted me a decent while. A little bit of this goes a really long way. The only thing that I'm going to say to you is that the scent lingers on your skin, which is great, but just make sure you buy a scent that you like. This was very accurate to the Butterbeer scent. Um, so that was good. So like I say, if you're not sure on a scent, make sure you go for something you're definitely going to like. Because if you, I would hate for someone to pick a scent that's... Like, I don't really like foodie scents on the whole. So I wouldn't really pick a food scented scrub. I would probably pick more of a, like a fruity zesty one if I was to do it again. Um, because yeah, the scent lingers. Um, love this and I will be looking out for what their polish pickup offering is to pick up another bottle. So that is favourites for October. No, we're in October. This is favourites for September that I'm filming in October. Like I say, thank you so much for the um, support on my previous videos. Keep watching them. If you're new to the channel, there's a uh, that five years worth of videos for you to go back and watch. And we will do one video a week in October. So I will see you next week with the next one. Bye, guys.